Hey guys, this is a quick tutorial on how to set things on fire. A lot of you have asked me how I did my, my fire effects in the docks on fire. This is the, the uh, middle of the town that you guys have seen. I'm releasing this today in a version that you can set the entire town on fire with a macro. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna provide links to the macros in the description for this as well. But let's uh, let's just get started really quick. The way you do this is with drawings and with token magic effects and with FX master. So you need those two macros installed to make this stuff work. I'm gonna to go to my drawings tool. I'm gonna to go to my defaults and I'm gonna set my line width to zero and, my, uh, and that's really all I need to do. That's gonna get rid of any lines around your drawing. I'm gonna set the fill from none to solid and I'm gonna give it a specific fill color, EC8B09. It can be any color you want. If you want it to work with my macros, you gotta use this color, but you can even adjust the macro if you want to. And then I'm gonna set the fill opacity to 50% exactly. And then text I'm gonna to set to uh, just zero uh, text opacity. And then you don't have to worry about the other two if you have multi-level or vehicles installed. Then you're gonna configure your default. That's gonna set your default for your drawings. Then let's go over here and grab our polygon tool. And with our default set now, we can start to draw a polygon. So let's say the fire is going to be on this notice board. And if you double click, it'll complete the polygon. And now I've got this orange polygon. Then what you wanna do is make sure that you have imported your devouring flame or devouring fire macro from token magic effects. I have a, another macro that's essentially just a duplicate of this in my compendium. Uh, called create flames or fire. When you have that macro open and you have your drawing selected, you can click execute macro and it will set that on fire. You can adjust the amount of flames, not in your macro, although you could do it there. But you can also adjust it easily from the drawing itself, but just by changing the fill opacity. So if I change this to like 20%, for example, you see my flames essentially go away. Whereas if I set it to 80%, I get quite a few flames. So I like 50% seems the right number. It has to be 50% if you want to use my light everything on fire macro. So we're going to change it back to 50. We're going to close this. Now what I've done on this scene, you don't know it is I've created a bunch of similar invisible drawings and they're all hidden around this scene. And I've created two macros. And if I click one called set a blaze, it will find all of those drawings, it'll set them all to being visible and do some other things. And then it'll uh, access FX master and create this sort of orange smoke and embers flying around. And essentially I've created, or I've lit my town on fire. Now you can see the roofs module doesn't play well with FX master. That's going to be changing hopefully soon with the new release in in foundry and then you can light your roofs on fire and things like that but for right now this is what you've got and i think it's great um, i'm going to show you how these macros work here in a second the entire town is set up this way so here's the overview map even the overview map is set up to be lit on fire so my players they've now invested heavily in this town and they come back and they find the thing has been torched um, so i just love this uh, but Let's say you want to untorch it. Well, I have another macro called douse and douse does the reverse of what you just saw. It undoes everything. It reintroduces the normal weather and you're back to back to normal. So I'm going to show you how these two macros work here as well. What set of blaze does if we go into edit macro is, and by the way, Ristinia from my discord community helped me develop this. What it's going to do is it's going to look for that hex code. And it's going to look for any drawings specifically that have that hex code as the fill color. And it's going to use that to change if they're hidden to change them to being unhidden. So hidden false, and it's going to set their alpha to 50%. It's really the setting the alpha that makes them appear or disappear. I just wanted to make sure that if they were hidden, they were unhidden. And then it's also going to look up this weather macro that I generated from FX master and it's going to set the fog and the speed and the density and the embers and that sort of thing. So it's essentially doing, it's calling two different modules to make this work. Um, but the key is to use this custom hex code. The douse, and by the way, all these macros come in my premium module. So if you want to get these, I'm releasing this whole map 
Uh, this map's been released, but I'm releasing the set on fire version today. It's May 15th of 2021. Uh, so this one just does the reverse. It looks for that same hex code and it sets the alpha to zero. It hides it and then it sets the weather back to normal. So hopefully this helped you guys. What I do recommend is if you do this, that by default, you go back into your drawing. And if I hit my select tool and I go back into my drawing, make sure everything is set to 0% opacity when you're all done. I found that if you don't do that and you run your macros, if you've just built them to be at 50% by default, sometimes the fire will appear again when you reload your map. So if you get done setting all of your uh, your drawings, then go back through and set them all to 0% opacity. That seems to be able to save properly between game sessions when you're using fire and douse. So hopefully that was helpful to you guys. Um, I will be using this macro system in other uh, releases. I have another release coming out today for a sewer where it will automatically animate all of the water on the sewer or it'll unanimate it if that's what you want. Um, but you'll see more of stuff like this in my releases and hopefully you guys get some use out of it too. Well, so thanks so much and, uh, and have fun setting your maps on fire.